Hey y'all, what's up? This is Lee and I am back with another video. How y'all doing? How y'all been? I hope you doing good. I'm doing amazing. I feel great. Life is good. Like, a lot of shit just don't be that important. It don't be mattering. And don't let that shit get all stuck up in your head and bog you down and have you overthinking and overanalyzing life. Let it go. Life rolls, man. Anyway, so I'm super excited about this video because I realized I organically have just been supporting black and minority owned businesses. And like, I got a nice little, you know, selection of things at this point. And so I felt like I should push y'all on because it's good stuff like it's not i mean you should intentionally shop black but like i wasn't i was just buying stuff that i liked so i was i was doing it anyway it was organic basically okay so yeah so um let's just get into it everything is going to be linked down below in the description box as usual because you know i got you if no nobody else got you i got you and, um, yeah, so let's just jump into the video. So, first of all, if you have watched my videos, y'all know I love this damn hat, okay? This hat is from Telfar. It is 100% leather. I've had this hat for about a year now. As you can see, it has held up beautifully. Um, if you don't know, Telfar is a New York-based black-owned brand. Their bags are super popular. That's why I don't have one. Um, <laughs> I think the Telfar bags are really cute. I just don't want it if everybody else has it so that's why i got the hat instead um but yeah and i love the concept of like making luxury affordable like now everybody can have a piece of luxury and it doesn't have to break the bank so shout out to telfar we love that um so i guess in the same vein of telfar is the brandon blackwood bags they went viral last year um, when he made the bag that said like in systemic racism around when all the riots and the protesting was going on. So um, I actually love his bags and they come in like calf hair and bright colors and they sell out so damn fast though. Um, I haven't been able to get my hands on one, but I did get my hands on this wallet. This is like bamboo. How cute is this? It says Brandon Blackwood at the bottom. Um, it does open up in the middle. You can put your money in there. There's enough for three cards on each side. It says Brandon Blackwood, New York. Um, as you can see, I've been using this every day. I just love the size of it. Like this is big enough where like I can throw it in my pocket and I know I'm not gonna lose it because it's heavy because of the gold hardware. Um, just super fucking cute. Anytime anybody sees me pull this out, I always get compliments on this. There is a bag to match, but it's sold out. So, yeah. Um, also, Brandon Blackwood, this came the very next day after I ordered it. So, we love that. It's just, it's a good time. I freaking love this, okay? I love this. Okay, so next let's talk about Good American. So I feel like I need to say this because a lot of people think Good American is owned by Khloe Kardashian and it's not. The, which I have notes because I forgot her name. So the founder and CEO of Good America is a woman of color, okay? Her name is Emma Greed or Grade. Um, and that is who actually owns Good American. Chloe is is said to be a co-founder, but between me and you, I think she's just like a, a, a investor and like a, a face of it. Um, but I'm not mad, y'all. I love Good American. Like I, I I still like Skims. I have Skims on right now. But Good American is first of all size inclusive. They literally go from a double zero to a size thirty two. Like come on, y'all. Come on. Um, I have a pair of their jeans super good quality like just they're a little pricey um they are sold in like nordstrom you can go on goodamerican.com and i don't even think they're pricey though like i feel like you're getting what you pay for and we're i think we've become so used to like fast fashion that when things are not fast <laughs> it's it's a little like oh a little jarring but um i have like four 
the American pieces now at this point. Um, if you watched my Shein bathing suit haul, those 90s wide leg baggy jeans, those are from Good American. Um, I'm going to pop a picture up of this set. This is like my favorite thing. I've worn it a lot and I don't care. I'm going to keep wearing it. Um, this is like a little crop tank and this has such good stretch and quality. Like I don't even wear a bra when I wear this. Um, I just don't. And I got the matching like swishy pants. And let me tell you. I get so many compliments on these pants every time I go out for men, for women. I don't know if it's like the color or the fact that I have more squishy pants. Um, but either way, I just love this little set. I want to get more of these sets. And they also have like the turtleneck bodysuits sleeveless to match the squishy pants. Like they just make it so easy. And these come with... Um, like you can get the windbreaker jacket to match like it's just a good time on good american like it's basics um but elevated and just good quality good fit good craftsmanship i feel like they're definitely worth the price good american is going to continue to keep getting my money because nobody like where else was i going to find a pair of 90s oversized jeans like that that were in my size, that were long enough. Like, never in my life did I expect that I could have that, you know? Like, I get, I get to have that. Like, yeah, so shout out to Good American. Um, we love that. Next, I have these super cool sandals, okay? I ordered these from 12AM Co. This is my third purchase from them. Um, so they are online shoe boutique based out of LA. They are black owned by Ariel Womack. Um, and let me just say, like, I'm going to be honest. These shoes are like, you know, the same shoes you can find on all those other websites. Actually, they're not, though. Like, let me say this. She has brands that you've heard of before, but she, I don't know if it's just like she's a great, um, like, what's the word? Not a shopper. What's the person that picks, like, the stuff for the brand? It's going to come to me, but she's a great one of those. Like, she has stuff I don't see anybody else with, and it's still affordable. Um, these are my most recent purchase from her. I just love these. Like, these are so sporty. This goes around the ankle. We got some Velcro. Got a little thong in the front, you know. Got the little teacup heel in the back. Like, just love these. And y'all know I love anything sporty, anything edgy, anything black. So, when I saw these, I had to cop these they give it a little alexander wedding tease you know for the low low price so we love that um i think she got like put on from her slippers because i think they were in like oprah's magazine and some other stuff but um her customer service though top tier a1 my first pair of shoes i got from her i couldn't figure out what size to get and so um, I was literally like, I emailed them and like, they responded just like that. We went back and forth. We had a whole discussion and she really helped me pick the right size of shoe. And so when I bought these, she sent me another email, like a personal email. These are not automated emails. That's why I'm so impressed. And she responds quickly too. Um, but she sent me a personal email, just thanking me for supporting her business, for shopping from her again and being a repeat customer. Like, she doesn't have to do that, you know, like I would have got the shoes regardless, but the fact that she did, like, sis, I just, I love that for her. Like, I just love when I see black owned businesses and they running them right. Like, she's doing the most in such a good way. So, shout out to Ariel Womack, sis. I'm going to keep supporting you, keep slaying the girls, okay? Okay, so, okay. Now, next, girl. If y'all don't know who Desi Perkins is, she's a big YouTuber. You know, she, she came up in the day with YouTube. Um, she, I feel like she was responsible for putting Quay or Key or however you want to say it, the glasses on the map. Like, she was a big spokesperson for them. And since them parlayed herself into her own sunglasses brand, Desi. If you didn't know, she is Hispanic. So, she, you know, she's a woman of color. Um, this is her own business. And let me say, sis. The packaging, like, I wish I would have kept the box. The box was so cute. Then you open it up, then there's a box inside of that box. Then there's this box that the glasses come in. Magnetic with, like, I don't know, pebbled velvet on the inside. Like, do you see the details? Come with the dust bag, okay? 
And look at these. Look at, baby. Look at these. Matte. Got the gold accents on the side. Like, <laughs> who you know? Who you know? And, like, let me just say, like, I have, like, a fair amount of designer sunglasses at this point. These give designer, like, the quality, the touches, the finishes, the packaging, the weight of them. Like, these just give designer for, once again, a very affordable price. And I just love the, how these companies are, like, including everybody of all pocket size, you know? Like, you got a little bit of pockets, you got a lot of bit of pockets, we got something for you. Like, that's kind of what inclusivity is all about. Like, we got something for everybody. So, shout out to Desi. I'll definitely be buying some more shades from her again. Oh, baby. Okay, so, um, I discovered this new brand. I don't know if they're new. They're new to me. It's called Indigo Earth on Instagram. And, like, she's, like, an accessories company, black-owned, based out of L.A., and a lot of her um, pieces involve like bamboo earrings, bamboo jewelry. She has bamboo press on nails, okay? Like bamboo hair clips, bamboo sunglasses. Um, so her site is dope. And um, what else do I wanna say? Her, cu again, customer service. Like I DM'd her, was asking about a different product and you know, she responded back quickly. I just, I love when people actually interact with you and these people, some brands and people act like they are too big, you know, to answer your message. And some of them are, they're not going to see it. Like I'm not going to DM Brandon Blackwood and be like, what's up with my purse restocking? But for the smaller companies, like y'all see these messages. Y'all could answer a person or two and Indigo Earth definitely answers me. She definitely keeps in touch. She started following me on Instagram. Like just, I feel like these are real down to earth people that have a great product and great customer service. And so why not, you know, why not support it? Why not give it a try? And it's something that I wasn't going to find anywhere else. And that's kind of my, my thing right now. Like I'm, I don't want to look like everybody else. I don't want to wear what everybody else has on. So if I can support um, a good brother or sister's business and they have a dope product, like why, why wouldn't we do that? Why not? Why wouldn't we? And lastly, um, I have the Glam Room All Grown Out Hair Growth Oil. As you can see, I've been using this. And what I will say, um, I've been doing a lot of stuff to my hair. So my hair is growing, it's getting thick, it's thickening up. But I can't tell you exactly what this oil does on its own because I've combined so many products. But this has peppermint oil, lavender oil, rosemary oil, castor oil, aloe vera and sage oil so i really can't see how it would do anything bad to your hair um i found her on instagram the owner is jasmine rillington a young black woman out of atlanta um and uh there's so many befores and afters of people with bald spots and alopecia and just thinning edges that have used this for a month or two and had such success so i thought to grab it and try it out smells great it's really thick too like i feel like it'd be good for sealing your ends if you have a protective style um i put it on my edges and it actually helps lay them down so we love that um her oil does sell out a lot so follow her on Instagram to see when she's going to restock. I'm going to do the same thing so I can get the big bottle next time. I think that's it. So thanks guys for watching my video. Um, See you on the next one. Alexander Wayne, Bridge Eddie Kane, Eddie. Drop Top McLean, Park it at the flame. Think I was insane. What my jeweler brain? Hiding Kirk Cobain, Hunter Bruce Wayne. Big boy, panic in the skillet.